Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got to the Fighting Dojo and we got the newest Pokemon on our team, which you guys overwhelmingly decided uh, to name BRUCE. So I, in all caps, named him BRUCE. Ne welcome Hitmonlee to our party. Uh, I'm actually really excited to, to actually have Hitmonlee. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, definitely one of my favorite fighting Pokemon. So I'm pretty excited. The only thing that I'm not too excited about is the fact that he's a hardy nature. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a way of fixing that because I accidentally saved over um, before the fighting dojo. Or before I selected... Uh, Hitmonlee. I highly recommend getting a Hitmonlee that is limber, which luckily we do have, and has an adamant nature, as I said in its bio in the last episode. Uh, highly, highly recommend. But if you look at his speed and his attack um, and his special defense, he is going to be a really great Pokemon. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the best of attacks when he first starts out, but he does have Brick Break, and that's pretty, pretty impressive. So, you'll notice that right now I have Luna. Uh, Luna is actually going to be starting our party because we need her to gain two more levels. When she gains two more levels, we can finally evolve her. Evolve her? But speaking of evolve, I think it's important that we do this right now, while we can, while we're thinking about it. Let's go ahead and finally evolve our Chew. Our little itty bitty Chew. Thunderstone was used on Chew. That was weird. <laughs> I thought the game froze. I just didn't hit the button. We just didn't hit the button. I'm recording this too early in the morning, that's why. And here we go. Our Pikachu is now our beautiful ass Raichu. Congratulations, your Chew evolves into Raichu, which is going to be such a power increase for our dear little our dear little Chew that we love so much. Uh, we are also going to give our iron. Um, I'm just going to give those away a little bit. So for defense, I think that our best bet is actually to just give it to Luna. I think Luna is going to be um, our, a pretty tanky character. And for our special defense, we're actually going to give that to Poseidon. Uh, just because she is also super tanky. I actually should have given her the iron as well, but that's fine. Uh, and we are going to give protein, which raises the attack. Um, I think our best bet is to give that to is to give that to Bruce. Um, I was gonna give it to Topher, but Topher has already had a few of those for him. The Quick Claw, I'm not too worried about giving to somebody, although I I guess I could um, just hand it to a Pokemon. And in this case, we will end up giving it to Luna, just so that Luna will hopefully be able to uh, hit a little bit more. We're also going to give Bruce the experience share just to kind of get him up to where our other characters are. And Topher is going to hold the leftovers and uh, yeah, that should be it. That should be good. So now everybody, in this episode, now that we've evolved our Raichu, we are going to tackle the Sylph Co. The Sylph Company. The ones who develop Sylph stuff. There is nothing that you can get on the first floor here, um, but there is a lot, a lot that we can do in this place. This place is huge. So, as always, whenever I do a huge dungeon, I, present Cory, am going to go away and future Cory is going to narrate the speed through of this dungeon. Have fun, everyone. All right, thank you, uh, past Cory, for that wonderful introduction. Okay, so we're going to head right into this, and we are going to battle this Rocket Grunt. Now, something that you will notice about these Rocket Grunts is I shouldn't have used Seismic Tossa. You just should have used Strength, because it's much more powerful on our Clefairy because of the staff. Anyways, so you're going to notice that a lot of these trainers, almost all of them, have uh, Zubats, Golbats, Weezings, Coughings. Uh, I think I caught, fought a couple Grimers and Mucks and some normal type Pokemon. And uh, there's a random like juggler thrown in there that has psychic types. So as long as you have something to counter all of those, you'll be able to plow through this area. And honestly, all of these trainers Pokemon are all very low levels. I don't think I fought anything over level 33 while fighting in a grunt. So uh, that's why I like to speed through these is because I like to fight every single trainer that we have in a dungeon area. Um, I'm also going to be using the item finder because we will be getting every single item that is available 
and this entire area. So uh, right now we're going to be fighting uh, some Voltorbs and Magnemites. I forgot that any of the guys that don't look like Rocket Grunts are usually scientists. Um, they will be fighting with electric type Pokemon uh, for the most part. Or Pokemon that, you know, are like artificial, if you will. So uh, Bruce actually is a wonderful addition right here. He just learned High Jump Kick. We got rid of Focus Energy for that. High Jump Kick is a very powerful move, but if it misses, it will actually hurt uh, Hitmonlee, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Now, you'll notice that there are these little pouches, um, or these little squares, tiles, if you will, throughout this entire dungeon. Those are teleportation pads. So, I'm going to be using a couple of them, but don't really worry about it. It's not super important that you uh, use the right ones. The only one that really matters is the one that leads to the end of the dungeon. So, I'm just going to go through and kind of fight all of the all of the trainers. Right there, we use that teleport, which brought us to the eighth floor. Uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of bars, right, on these windows, uh, on these, we can't get through. We need a card key. Um, the card key is pretty important as well. Uh, I just ate some chocolate and it, it came out of my mouth a little bit. <laughs> uh, so right there we got an iron, it was hidden in the bush. Uh, but I like to, like I said, I like to fight all of the trainers and then I like to get the key card and I like to actually use the stairs and go through every single floor. Uh, so we're going to switch to Bruce here just to kind of give him experience. I did give him the experience share, which is going to help him out a little bit. I actually divvied up some items. I think I said that earlier. Uh, so that's going to help him a lot in this area. W right there, we took down that scientist. And you're going to make a ton of money. Each trainer will give you probably close to 2,000 Poké Dollars each time. So there we go. We're going to go up to the ninth floor. The ninth floor is actually super, super important. Right here is an item that we can't actually get just yet. We can go back here. This is a scientist that we have to fight. We can take him down real quick. He's not going to have anything. He's a uh, Voltorb that's going to cast Spark a couple times. And I believe he also has a Magneton. Yep. Uh, which is good because Bruce is super effective against Steel. And a Coughing, which is super annoying because Bruce is not super effective against him. Uh, as you can see, our Pokemon are pretty low right now. But I want Luna to gain those levels, so that's why I'm going to use him. You're also going to be seeing a lot of Topher throughout this dungeon, uh, just because he is so strong. Right now, finally, Luna learned Moonlight at level 37. Moonlight is super great. It's a 5 PP move, but it restores your health tremendously. Uh, it says it, it varies with the weather. I don't know how that applies when you're inside a building. Um, so I would recommend, I'm just going to get rid of Seismic Toss because Seismic Toss, while good, isn't great. Uh, I think Strength is going to serve us a lot better for Clefairy. So right here is actually where we can get the card key. Uh, so we, if you noticed the ninth floor, uh, we went, did, did, did that. You can slow down the video a little bit to see exactly how we got there. It's not hard to do, um, but we were able to get the the card key which is super absolutely you need it to get through this area so right there we defeated uh his hypno with our shadow ball using middle king which is muy excelente i said it uh right here he's going to send out an arbok unfortunately i'm going to just try to use clefairy clefairy is going to go down and i'm just going to finish him off with poseidon because he's super strong now i'm actually going to go back so i can go here and use this card key so that we can grab this item, which is TM01 Focus Punch, which uh, will require your Pokemon to focus. Um, and then if he's hit in the turn, he'll miss. If he's not hit, he will hit them with a super strong fighting move. Like, incredibly strong. I think it's like 150 power. It's huge. Uh, right here, we can find another item. It's always in the middle tree. Always. Uh, we got a protein right there. You're going to notice that we're going to be getting a lot of vitamins as we go through this area. Uh, that teleport pad led literally right down there. Um, there is an item right in here that we can grab with a trainer. We can get a free hyper potion, which is always useful. I'm going to show you that that teleport lead us, leads us to where we need to go. So, uh, I don't want to go there just yet. Uh, we will be able to defight, defight this guy. He is going to have an electrode and a wheezing, um, which is actually pretty strong. Right here is a super important teleporter. This will bring us to the ninth floor. We can fight this trainer and then probably the most useful floor in Silphco, uh is right here and I remember never finding this when I was younger or not knowing how to get to it so right here we can find another calcium which is perfect and if we talk to her we can actually take a nap and it acts like a poke center and heals all of our stuff to full uh, which is just absolutely wonderful right next to this yellow box we can grab a max potion then we can open this card key and we can fight this guy who's one of the four brothers uh, you'll notice that we will fight 
all four of the Rocket Brothers throughout our time here. Uh, there we go. I just used Moonlight, and it restored about half of my health, um, which is really, really, really great. Of course, it's only a 5 PP move, so, you know. Now, I want Luna to gain some levels here, so I'm going to keep going back and forth, kind of, and, and making sure that she's she's good to go. So we can go through here. We already, uh, we already fought this scientist, so we can just keep going forward. Uh, this is about the point when I start actually just using the stairs, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Um, so we're going to go use this teleporter. This is going to bring us back down to where we got the card key. So in case you're feeling a little bit lost, the card key's on the fifth floor in the bottom there. Uh, this is just me double checking. Right there is a trainer that we missed. So we can go ahead and fight this guy who's got a ton of Pokemon. Uh, we're just going to keep using this strength against these Pokemon. I don't totally suggest it, but with Moonlight, we can actually kind of stay in fights a lot longer now uh, with Clefairy. Moonlight is so important for a Clefairy. It really, really is. It, it makes a world of difference for this character, for this Pokemon. Uh, there's no items except for right here where we can find a PP up, which is perfect. We'll probably end up using that on, um, on our Clefairy's Moonlight. And for some strange reason, there's a juggler here. I don't understand it. He's the only juggler in the entire place. I don't get it. Uh, we just defeated his Kadabra in one hit. Now he's going to end up using our, um, uh, Mr. Mime. And Topher will take him down with a Shadow Ball. And Bruce will hit level 29, which is great. We can use this card key, talk to this person, and there's another item right here, which I believe is another vitamin. Oh no, it's an elixir, perfect. Uh, elixirs are obviously super helpful. That is the Pokemon trainer before. Now I'm just gonna go down to floor two and uh, make sure that we get absolutely everything. So we can come down here, talk to her. She's gonna teach us Thunder Wave if we want it. Um, I'm pretty sure Raichu already has it, which he does, so we're not gonna worry about teaching Thunder Wave right now. Right here is another trainer that we can fight after we grab this item, which is going to be an Ultra Ball. Uh, might as well just grab a free Ultra Ball. Now, it's worth mentioning that, um, story-wise, these scientists are actually Sylph Co. employees, um, who are siding with Team Rocket, which is super strange. Uh, I guess they're doing it because they want to mass-produce, um, a Master Ball? I don't, I, I don't know what the purpose is of taking over Sylph Co. Not entirely sure. So we can go ahead and take down these Pokemon, um, no issue here whatsoever, I think... No, not yet. There is a level coming up soon where Topher is going to learn a new move that is exquisite. Uh, right here, I'm just going down so that we can actually restore health, and then I'm just going to go back to where we were, which is the third floor. Uh, third floor is super important because both of those teleporters lead to the uh, good spots that we need. So we will go ahead and take down this Ekans pretty easily. Um, and, of course, this Zubat. And now I'm in this Cubone. Uh, Easy peasy again. Right here is another hidden item that we can find, which is an iron, which increases your defense. Right there is TM41, which is torment. Uh, I don't really recommend it. It's not a very good, uh, not, not a very good TM. Uh, he's going to have a, a, a Machop. I was stupid and stayed in with a Clefairy. Obviously, he's going to one-shot me because he is, you know, a Machop. Uh, so right here, we can find three items real quick, a Max Revive, an Escape Rope, and a Full Heal. That Escape Rope is going to be super helpful real soon. Um, that person doesn't have anything for us. We can go up here, use this card key, and one more trainer on this floor. I believe that's all of them on this floor, which is great. And uh, he's going to try to learn Mind Reader, which is going to make it so that your next move will absolutely definitely not miss. Uh, I don't really recommend it. It's just kind of a waste, and there's nothing that's super low accuracy enough to justify spending two turns making sure that it lands. Uh, so we're just going to kind of go through. Right here is uh, a thing saying that they created Porygon. There's over 350 moves, and uh, Pokemon can be can evolve through trading, um, is what those reports said. Not a huge deal. So right here, we can battle this guy. This is actually a floor that um, you will miss, I think, if you just rush to... Uh, to the end there, which is super easy to do. So right here is another item that we can find in this tree. We'll find a Carbos, which raises your speed. Um, and then we can open this card key and get an HP up, which is beautiful, and an X special. Uh, then we can go and fight this guy, who I believe is one of the last trainers on this floor. And we're gonna switch to Bruce because of the, uh, the fighting being super effective against Steel. And, of course, uh, we'll just bring out Bahamut just so that we can get him. I think this is the last trainer. Rock Slide is going to be able to take out all three of those flying types super, super, really, duper, really easily. And uh, then we will continue on to the seventh floor. On the seventh floor, we're going to find a ton of trainers. Uh, this place is long. 
Uh, 7th, 8th, and 9th, I think, are what took us the longest. Uh, 10th and 11th, too, are pretty long. So, Sylphco is pretty long. Um, nothing really to say about these trainers. Sa same tactics that you've been using. Don't forget that if you need to go uh, heal your Pokemon, you can. And here is a bunch of employees that are being kept hostage, I guess. Uh, which is, you know, no big deal, right? Pokemon kids game. Uh, then we can take down this Muck and Electrode. And we will take him down and we'll get a Calcium, which is great. Calcium will... Uh, our attack will be hired with calcium and we can get a zinc right there and right here we can get tm08 which is bulk up which will increase our pokemon's attack sharply i believe so it'll raise its attacks two stages um which is pretty good in something that i will probably give hitmonlee to be honest with you just because i think hitmonlee if he can set up uh, we'll be able to just dominate right there Topher is gonna get rid of thrash and learn mega horn mega horn is a bug type attack Which is super super incredibly powerful and is going to make it so that we can absolutely destroy uh, Ghost types grass types and psychic types with Topher, which is super super important. I know shadow ball it kind of fills that role, but um, Mega horn will ensure that we're able to do that uh, so that wheezing you self-destruct, no big deal. And Topher is already level 44, so we have a pretty substantial lead on levels in this area, uh, which is not ideal. Um, I think that guy peeing in the plant might have been a trainer. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, it looks like we've already been to this floor. I'm just double-checking to make sure. Yep, this is the ninth floor, so uh, we can go ahead and restore health real quick, and then we're going to continue upwards. And it looks like there is an item right here, which is going to... Oh, no, it's on the other side which is a uh, HP up, which we've gotten two so far in this level. Right here, we can talk to her. She said she's scared. Well, yeah, she's a hostage. Literally a hostage. I don't know why I kept Luna in yet again. That was stupid of me. Uh, right here, we can get a Carbos, raises our speed, a rare candy, which obviously increases our level, and another Ultra Ball. That's all you can get, but that's a lot of items for one little room. Right here, we're just going to finish taking out all of these all of these pokes, and we will continue on to the 11th floor. The 11th floor is the final floor, however, we're on the wrong side of it. So there we go, we picked up a Zinc, which uh, increases special defense, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and we'll go ahead and just plow through this guy as quickly as possible, because he doesn't have anything worth mentioning whatsoever. And with that, we are pretty much done exploring all of Sylphco. So we're just going to take the elevator down to the ninth floor, where we will go ahead and uh, and take a little bit of a nap, and then I'm gonna give it back to future Cory. Yeah. And now that we're done napping, I'm gonna cut back to present me. Thank you, future Cory, for commentating that wonderful thing. So from the ninth floor, we're gonna go back up, uh, just like we. Hopefully you were able to follow because I know everything was done really quickly But basically from the ninth floor go over talk to that woman go up use this teleporter This will bring you into this room on the third floor go ahead take this teleporter right here This will bring you to the room that you need to go to now I'm actually going to switch and I'm gonna put Raichu out because one we haven't actually seen Raichu or Chu uh, Yet and also this guy looks pretty familiar It's freezing of Freezing Factor Let's Plays, our gaming community. What kept you, Cory? Ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited here, a boot. I guess Team Rocket slowed you down, not that I care. I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. So he followed me into a corporation that is being taken over hostily and didn't do anything. 